Well, it's a delight to welcome the Prime Minister. We've become friends, and it's good to have you back in the White House. Thank you for coming. And let me offer my condolences out to in Italy and <coughs> throughout the Mediterranean, those suffering from extreme, extreme weather and wildfires. Italy and the region are grappling with this, just as we are here in the United States. I just did a major initiative on the dangers of this excessive heat here in the United States, and we're grappling with it as well. And as NATO allies, the Transatlantic Partnership is the cornerstone of our shared security. And uh, the Italian troops are playing a critical role in Europe, in the Mediterranean, and, uh, and beyond. Italy and the United States are also standing strong with Ukraine, and I uh, compliment you on your very strong support to defend against Russian atrocities, and that's what they are. It's not just a war, but they're Russia's committing the atrocities they're focusing on. Uh, I don't want to get into it, but, you know, and I think Italian people, I want to thank them for supporting you and supporting Ukraine. It makes a big difference. Today we're going to talk about our deepening economic connections, which fueled more than $100 billion in trade last year. In my view, there's no reason why that can't increase. And uh, we're also expanding a partnership in new areas, including space cooperation and strengthening our support for developing countries. And I look forward to our discussion today uh, um, on Mediterranean work with Mediterranean nations to address the legitimate migration challenges you have coming from Africa. And, uh, and Italy is going to be leading the G7 uh, um, this next time around uh, and the next year, and I also look forward to pursuing an ambitious uh, agenda for progress. And, uh, and uh, I hope it will be nice to me as a chairman. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Please. Thank you. I'm very uh, pr uh, pleased to be here today to te testify the friendship that uh, bonds the United States and Italy. I want to thank President Biden for his hospitality. And this closeness is based on common values and cultural roots. And our bond was made strong by the contribution of millions of Americans of Italian origin. And that, that means Italy is an integral part of uh, the great American nation and contributed in shaping its culture and identity. And also for that, our relations are historically strong. They cross governments uh, and remain solid regard, regardless of their political colors. We know who our friends are in times that are tough. And I think that Western nations have shown that they can, they can rely on each other much than some had believed. Moreover, after the Russian aggression against uh, Ukraine, for all together we decided to defend the international law. And I'm proud that Italy, from the beginning, uh, played its part in it. We did it simply because uh, supporting Ukraine means defending the peaceful coexistence of people and states everywhere in the world. Contrary to uh, what some claim, Ukrainian resistance distances a world war does not bring it closer, as some say. Those who believe in peace should be the first supporters of the Ukrainian cause. And then Italy and the United States have important common interests in enhancing as well a global trade that is not only free but also fair. Competition from other nations that do not meet our standards in terms of worker protection, safety, environmental protection undermine our, our companies and workers. So a free trade without, without rules has shown its limits. We must find the right balance between openness and the protection of our economy, economies and strategic interests. And similarly, we will discuss also this within the West, we must work together to support our industrial system by fostering convergence on in our national interests 
in this respect, dialogue between us, between Italy, Europe, United States, can avoid counterproductive tension to the benefit of everyone. And on the other hand, we also need to be fair with nations that feel they have been exploited of their resources and that today show distrust towards the West. Uh, President Biden knows I take care a lot about Africa, about the role that we can play in these countries that can help us uh, building with them a new relation based on a new approach which is a pair-to-pair -pair approach also to uh, fight illegal migration and all the problems that we face. It's all things that we will discuss in the G7 presidency of Italy next year. And then the United States is our most important trade partner outside the European Union. And I think, I do agree with you, Joe, that uh, our trade partnership is very high, but no reason why we could not improve it. So thank you very much for hosting us, and thank you for your time. Well, I think you made an interesting point about the closeness and how many Italian-Americans there are. I just want you to know, I was raised in a neighborhood where I felt self-conscious my name didn't end in O. Uh, and I want you to know, I'm the only non-Italian <laughs> named Man of the Year by the Italian Society. And I, when I got the award, I said, everybody wanted to know it's been six, and I was thinking about this. And I named all the guys and families I grew up with. You know, Donato, anyway, went through the list, and I said, and I was thinking, about it. I deserve this one. <laughs> and, uh, but I, I may be Irish, but not stupid. I'm right, Dominic Giacoppa's granddaughter. I want you to know that. Okay. It'd be nice to you. Right. Now I know it. Anyway, thank you all very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.